Hello, in this video we are going to be plugging in negative 2 into our expression. And the way it's written, it says find the value of each expression below when x is negative 2. That just means um, substitute x equals negative 2 into your expression. So here it says 8 minus 2 times x. Well, we know x is negative 2, so I'm going to show that as minus 2. Now here we are subtracting 2 times negative 2. So we're really subtracting, well, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And here we can think of this as subtracting a negative 4 as adding 4. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding. And um, that's one way to think about it. Another way to think about this is to use addition. So one technique I like to use, especially uh, when we're getting comfortable with algebra, is to rewrite subtraction statements using addition. So all I did was rewrite it. Instead of 8 minus 2x, it's 8 plus negative 2x. These are the same thing. Why did I do that? Well, I think it's easier than to see how the arithmetic will work. When we plug in negative 2 for x here, we're going to have to add these two numbers, and it's 8 plus, well, negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4, and that is also, as you can see, 12. So two ways to think about it. In the first one, you can think of subtracting. Well, here you're multiplying 2 by negative 2, and you're subtracting that product. You're subtracting negative 4. In the other scenario, we rewrite subtraction using addition, and that might make it a little bit easier to see that all you're really doing is multiplying negative 2 by negative 2. All right, thank you.